Tony training, heavy shoulder training with Tony Ruggiero, as you can see. Hey, Tony, now you've been in a cup before. What, what was your placing last? Was it last uh, year? Last year, I didn't make the top five. I got sixth place, real disappointed. I've gotten third, fourth. Well, now, the year before that, you placed third, fourth. Yeah, uh, third. I, I went down to the Bantams. I dropped to the Bantams. The lights, I've best I've gotten is fourth. Well, I'll tell you so, what, Tony, I'm going to I'm I'm win a prediction, guys. I want to ask you to predict. What are you, you going to do this year? I'm guaranteeing a top five. You heard that I'm right guaranteeing there. guaranteeing a top 2009. five. 2009. We're top five. Just like Muhammad Ali. Man, this boy wouldn't yeah. guarantee it. And you can see, by the way, he's working out his shoulders and everything. Oh. I think Tony's going to be ready. Tell me what you guys think out there and let him know, okay? All right, Tony, good job. <laughs> Heavy set by Tony Ruggiero, as you can see. You know what? I got a feeling this prediction might come true, Tony. I mean, you're trying to show me and the rest of the world out there that uh, you're ready for this. You're going to definitely make the top guys in the World Cup. Now, Tony, let me ask you a question, man. One of the things that go through my mind when I watch people train is what are they thinking? While you're training, what are you thinking? What are your thoughts? I'm thinking I got to push myself as hard as I possibly can, you know. I know there's guys out there training harder mm -hmm. or trying to train harder, you know, so I got to push myself to the limit, you know, without doing, I don't want to injure myself also, so I try to keep my body tight, but use a little bit of English sometimes, you know, to get that extra set. I don't have my regular spotting partner here, so I'm trying to make myself work out extra hard by myself, you know, push some, kind of resist at the end, just to kind of do partials to help stimulate a little more, a little bit more breakdown. So. And you know, I think that's real important what Tony just said, and I'll tell you guys why. I can remember training myself for the Emerald Cup and some other shows on a national level, and the exact same thought and philosophy he's taking into it is pretty much what I thought. There's somebody out there training a little bit harder than I am, and I'll tell you what, I'm not gonna let Tony hold back some more anymore, I should say. We're gonna let Tony get on with the training and let's watch some more of Tony Ruggiero's training tips. All right. <laughs> Another great set, Tony. Way to go, man. Oh, I'm man. telling you something. You guys out there, if Tony keeps doing these heavy sets like this, somebody's going to have to give me a belt to put on my back. Okay, Tony, I'm getting hurt just watching you out there, man. I'll tell you what, Tony, give me some uh, ideas about your nutrition. I mean, what kind of foods you're eating now? How much has that changed from the beginning of time when you started dieting? Beginning of time meaning for this contest. Yeah, I used to not be too smart. Always ate too much. 
Now I'm getting wiser, getting older, eating okay. less, still trying to eat seven meals, you know. I actually eat less protein than I used to eat because I didn't feel I was getting all the growth for the amount of protein I was eating. Being natural, I, I, don't, I don't think your body can assimilate the type of protein that a lot of these guys are taking, you know, 40, 50, 60 grams at a session. I'm only 165 pounds, I take 20, 30 grams, you know, seven, six, Well, give six us a typical a breakdown of your day, Tony. Let's say we get up in the morning, what do you do? How many hours after you get up and what do you eat? I get up right off the bat, I have a protein. I only take like one scoop, a little bit of frozen bananas, some orange, uh, some uh, strawberries, a couple yeah. strawberries, flavor it up. And about every two Good and stuff. a half, three hours, I'll eat something, you know, a little pro portion of protein and some carbohydrates. As I get closer, I'm cutting the starches out more and more, going with less. I follow the Mitsu, uh, Mits, Mits Kawashima diet. You I really? like the whole eggs. Oh, so man, I'm eating I'll tell six you, Mits whole Kawashima. eggs. I like the yolks. Yes. I'm following that. So uh, I'm doing less cardio than I've ever done, and I'm doing it more with the training and diet now that I'm understanding sure. my body sure. about bringing the body fat levels down. So it seems to be working hey, pretty I'll well. I'll tell you what, smart guy, because Mitz Kawashima is a guy that's dear to my heart, Arnold, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, that's his stepdad, the guy we like to call a stepdad. And I'll tell you what, I've, I've have been fortunate enough to spend the last five or six summers with Mitz Kawashima. So, hey, talk about nutrition, picking up tips. Tony's picking up some pretty good stuff. Now, Tony, what do you say about lunch and dinner and all the rest of the meals? I don't call them lunch, dinner. You know, they're just what, meal meals one and body seven. I have eggs for breakfast, eggs for dinner, whatever, chicken. It's it a doesn't lot of matter. Eggs. Yeah. Eggs, I usually have about six whole, you know, a day, three at one session, three at another. I like fish, chicken, a little bit of red meat. You know, I try and mix it up, a lot of variety. And I take a little bit of fruit, not a lot, some pineapple, you know, just, right. just small amounts. So, you know, I got to keep, if I'm not getting leaner, I got to cut something back. So, got to So, make what's it your estimate on how many calories a day? Mm, 15 to 2,000 probably right Wow, so right pretty now. low. Pretty yeah, low. yeah. Low, I mean, okay. I'd like to eat more, I'll tell you that, but right. I'm trying to make it happen. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go ahead and let Tony train some more. We're going to come back and ask him some more questions about his cardio workout and some other things that he's got going on.